Wood. Well, City County Councilor Jeff Miller will not face any new charges. This after a judge says he violated a no contact order at a neighborhood meeting this week. See, two of Miller's alleged molestation victims, 10 year old girls, were said to have been at that meeting. 24 Hour News 8's Brenna Donnelly is live outside the courthouse with what this means for the investigation moving forward. Brenna. Well, Julian Judge Mark Smith was very stern with Mr. Miller, but did only provide him a reprimand for that no contact order violation. This could have ended a lot differently for Mr. Miller. Uh, now, he did walk into the courtroom in a similar way that he did for his initial hearing, very solemn and serious. Judge Smith ordered a new no contact order, had Miller sign it, and explained three stipulations. If Miller sees one of the people in a store, a street, or other space, he is expected to turn around and leave immediately. However, if one of these people attends a city county council meeting, Miller is not expected to get up and leave. And if Miller violates this order again, he will be returned to jail and held without bond. We spoke with Jack Crawford, an Indianapolis attorney who has been following this case. He said the judge could have ordered Miller be rearrested and put on house arrest or given a GPS anklet. Crawford also said this development is no small matter since it directly affects Miller's job as a city county councilor. It shows how a public official who is charged with a serious offense has a difficult, if not almost impossible, task in doing his job. Uh, part of a public official's job is to mix with the public. And if all of these people on the no contact order, certainly they're members of the public, then he has to always be aware that uh, if he has any contact with them, it could have serious consequences for Mr. Miller. Now, once again, Miller and his attorney, James Bell, had no comment as they exited the building. But the state prosecution representative, Courtney Curtis, did tell us there are now seven people on the no contact list. Before, there were eight, and we do not know if any of those names have changed. Coming up at 6 o'clock, you can hear from one of Miller's fellow city county councilors on the proceedings here today. Again, that's coming up at 6 o'clock. But for now, live in Hendricks County, Brenna Donnelly, 24-Hour News 8.